हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सुपर क्रिटिकल बॉयलर इट्स एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टीएस डायग्राम टेंपरेचर वर्सेस एंट्रोपी डायग्राम फॉर सुपर क्रिटिकल बॉयलर हियर यू कैन सी दैट दीस ऑल आर द कांस्टेंट प्रेशर लाइन ओके एंड the horizontal line dotted line it will represent the constant temperature when water at saturation temperature is uh, heated further at constant pressure additional heat is supplied at constant temperature which uh, changes the phase from liquid to vapor this heat is known as latent heat of vaporization or we can say hidden heat so first of all what is critical point so here you can see that this is the critical point at which okay there is no any change of phase okay there is no any separation of change of phase it is called critical point okay and uh, the temperature corresponding to this point it is called critical temperature and the pressure corresponding to this point it is called critical pressure for steam critical pressure is uh, about uh, 221.1 bar and critical temperature is 374.15 degree celsius okay here you can see that this is also represented on ts diagram the boiler in which steam is produced below 221 point bar are known as sub critical boiler and boiler in which steam is produced above 221 point bar are known as super critical boiler so super critical means above 221.1 bar and sub critical boiler means its pressure range is below 221.1 bar now we will discuss the working principle of super critical boiler so uh, through the feed pump the pressure of water is increase above the critical pressure okay on ts diagram here you can see that the process is represented by 3 to 4 double dash and it is then heated and temperature increase during the process okay here you can see that the here the heat is supplied at constant pressure so temperature is increased here you can see that this is the schematic diagram of super critical boiler these boilers are one screw type and uh, we can say uh, steam drum is absent in this type of boiler okay here we are not using steam drum okay the total process of steam generation it will be take place in one long tube it is called one screw boiler feed water enters at economizer and leaves uh, as superheated steam at the other end we know that what is the function of economizer economizer means it is nothing else it is a one type of heat exchanger so before passing the exhaust gases to the chimney it will enter into the coil of the economizer and whatever the heat is available okay in the gases it is utilized to increase the temperature of water so we can save the fuel or we can say uh, we can increase the efficiency of the boiler because uh, whenever we increase the temperature of water so this hot water is supplied to the boiler so the uh, less amount of uh, heat energy is required to boil the water the entire operation of feed water heating steam formation and super heating is carried out in a single continuous tube so here you can see that it is a single continuous tube so in this tube here you can see that the feed water it will uh, uh, supplied from the hot well or we can say outlet of the condenser through the feed pump to the economizer in economizer okay uh, before passing the flue gases to the chimney okay it will uh, uh, transfer the heat whatever the heat energy is available with the flue gases it is utilized to increase the temperature of water and this hot water it will pass through the uh, radiant evaporator okay from the economizer it will pass through the coil of radiant evaporator in which water gets evaporated and it's partly converted into steam the radiant evaporator uh, receives heat from the burning fuel through the radiation process okay then after it will pass through the coil of superheater and here the uh, remaining moisture is removed from the steam and it is supplied to the turbine okay to generate the electricity usually power plant having capacity of 300 megawatt and above use super critical boilers 
here you can see that uh, we are also using air preheater okay to increase the combustion efficiency in air preheater okay the uh, cold air okay it will be entered into the air preheater okay so it will receive the heat from the flue gases okay which uh, whatever the energy is available with the flue gases before passing the chimney okay it is utilized to increase the temperature of air and this hot air is to supply to the combustion chamber so again here we can increase the combustion efficiency okay it is uh, accessories in the boiler so this is the uh, overall about the working principle of supercritical boiler so supercritical boiler means the pressure range is about 221 point bar it is called supercritical boilers and uh, here there is no any phase uh, separation above uh, this pressure okay so there is no any moisture content will be there so we can also avoid the problem of erosion and corrosion in the tubes now we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the supercritical boiler the heat transfer rates are considerably higher compared with subcritical boilers because we have already discussed okay in supercritical boilers okay the temperature range is also high and pressure range is also high so heat transfer rate is high due to absence of two phase mixtures the problem of erosion and corrosion are minimized okay we have already discussed about 221 bar there is no any phase separation okay or we can say there is no any two phase mixture okay so due to the absence of two phase mixture problem of erosion and corrosion are minimized the pressure level is more stable due to less heat capacity of the generator and hence it give better response higher thermal efficiency we can achieve up to 40 to 42 percentage of the thermal power station can be achieved by using supercritical steam the turbo generator connected to supercritical boilers can generate peak loads by changing the pressure of operation it is uh, more adaptable to load fluctuation because of uh, easy operation simplicity and better flexibility now we will discuss the disadvantages of the supercritical boiler the first disadvantage although efficiency increased by use of high pressure and high temperature steam but restriction is imposed due to non availability of material to withstand higher temperature and pressure this is our limitation also difficulty is experience in turbine and condenser due to handling of large volume of steam the another disadvantage due to absence of steam drum dissolved impurities are carried with steam which may be deposit on boiler tubes and reduce the heat transfer rate so this is all over about uh, working principle of supercritical boiler its advantages and disadvantages i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also press bell icon for more notification